uh, video lecture, we have seen force exerted by the jet on a stationary plate. When the plate is vertical to the jet, the force in the x direction is rho into a v square, where rho is the density, a is the cross section of the jet, and v is the velocity of the plane. And when the plate is inclined to the jet, the normal component Fn is equal to rho a v square into the inclination between the plate and the jet sin theta. And force in the x direction when the plate is inclined to the jet is rho a v square sin square theta. And force in the y direction is rho a v square sin theta cos theta. And when the plate is curved, the force in the x direction is rho a v square into 1 plus cos theta. And force in the y direction is minus rho a v square sin theta. We have worked out some examples also. But you know, always the force exerted jet on the stationary plate is, it is not common. So generally we have to consider the other cases. In today's video lecture, so we will take three cases of force exerted by jet on the moving plates. One is the plate is vertical, the moving plate which is inclined and third is the moving curved plates. So let us take the first case, the force exerted by the jet on the moving vertical plate. So look at the figure here. So the consider the jet of water strikes the moving flat plate moving with a uniform velocity which is away from the jet. So the V is the absolute velocity of the jet and A is the area of the jet and U is the velocity of the plate. Here please note that the plate, the flat plate is also moving. Hence the relative velocity of the jet that means the velocity at which the jet strikes the plate because the plate is moving is Vr is equal to V minus U and mass of the water per striking per second on the plate is density into velocity that is rho A into V minus U. Similarly, the force exerted by the jet on the moving plate in the direction of the jet we can use impulse momentum equation as earlier that is mass of water striking per second into initial velocity minus final velocity. Already we have defined these terms above. So it is mass of water striking per second is rho A into V minus U into the initial velocity is V minus U that is relative velocity minus after striking the jet after striking the plate which even the moving so it will move in the perpendicular direction towards the plate hence the direction of velocity in the direction of the jet is 0. It means the final velocity is 0 here. Yeah? So simplify. So it is rho a v minus u into v minus u rho a into v minus u square. The special case in this here is since the plate is moving there will be work done on the plate which is nothing but the force exerted with the jet into the initial velocity. That is you can see here it is force exerted by jet in the x into velocity of the float. Force exerted by jet is rho a v minus u square into u is the, the velocity at which the jet's uh, the velocity of the plate. So the expression is that. The second typical case which you can do the experiments in the lab also is the force exerted by the jet on the moving inclined plate. Here the expression is similar to the previous one but the plate is inclined here. So look at the figure here. So v is the velocity of the absolute velocity of the jet and theta is the inclination between the jet and the plate and u is the velocity at which the plate is moving. Here first we have to find the normal component then we have to divide into x and y direction. The relative velocity with respect to plate is vr that is v minus u. The absolute velocity is v and the mass of water striking per second on the plate is rho a into v minus u and force exerted by jet on the moving plate normal to the direction of jet we will find out because it is normal to that so that can be resolved into two components towards the angle is cos and away from the angle is sine. So Fn, Fn is mass of water striking per second into initial velocity minus final velocity. Rho A into V minus U is the mass of water striking and initial velocity is V minus U sin theta that is and final velocity because after hitting the plate the velocity in the direction of the jet is 0. Yes. So it is rho a v minus u square sin theta which is in the normal direction. So this can be resolved into two components. One is fx is equal to fn sin theta 
So that is rho a v minus u square into sin theta into sin theta. That is rho a v minus u square sin square theta. And f y is equal to f u into cos theta. So f u into cos theta. That is rho a v minus u whole square. What you got here sin theta into component is cos theta. Yes. And we can find out the work done also because the plate is inclined as well as moving. Work done is f x into velocity of the plate. So that is rho a v minus u square sin theta into the velocity of the plate is u. The plate is moving with the velocity u. So now we will take the force exerted by jet on a moving symmetrical plate and the jet striking at the center. So this figure shows the plate is actually a curved plate. So and it is symmetrical. The angle is theta here. The velocity of the jet is v. And the jet after hitting it is coming out here, and since the plate is also moving, the velocity which is coming out will be v minus u, which is relative velocity, and the angle which is here subtended is theta, and the plate is curved one. Let us look at the things. Jet strikes the curved plate at the center. After striking the plate, it comes out with the same velocity, since the there is no shock and no loss of energy. And the relative relative velocity of the jet with respect to plate v r is equal to v minus u, and mass of water striking per per second on the plate is rho a into v minus u, that is the relative velocity. And in the figure, you can see when the jet is striking here v minus u, and the, when it is coming out, so we have got a v minus u can be resolved into two components. One is v minus u sine theta. Away from the angle and v minus u cos theta. Yes. So the velocity at the center of the outlet plate can be resolved into two components. One is component of velocity in the direction of jet, that is v minus u cos theta minus, because jet is moving in the direction in the x direction, whereas the component is in the negative direction, so it is minus. Whereas the component of velocity in the perpendicular direction of jet is v minus u sin theta, that is positive. Hence, you can see here. Here v x one is v minus u, and v x two is minus v minus u cos theta. It is moving away from the jet, and in the direction of the jet, there is no x component here after hitting because it is moving is a curved plate, and v y two is v minus u sin theta. So this will substitute in the impulse momentum equation. Force is equal to mass into change in velocity. So in the x direction, rho a into v minus u. Into v minus u minus v minus u cos theta. That is v x one minus v x two, and the expression is simplified into rho a v minus u whole square into one plus cos theta. Whereas in the y direction is equal to m into v y one minus v y two, and v y one is zero. So hence, because after hitting the jet, the plate after hitting the jet, it is zero. Whereas the second velocity in the vertical direction is v minus u sin theta. Hence, the negative sign remains here. F y is equal to minus rho a into v minus u whole square sin theta. Some of the problems we have solved in the previous video lecture, and since the plate is moving here, so there is a work done. That is, f x is equal to f x into velocity of the plate. So rho a v minus u square into one plus cos theta is f x multiplied by the velocity of the plate is u. So the work done also can be computed here. Right? Work done is actually the output.